like that. It's nothing like a Jaguar. Oh, hello there. My name's Sam. I am a man with a plan. I got that right. What? My plan is to become a truck driver. Um, and I thought I'd take you on this little journey and, you know, show you how much it's going to cost, what I've done so far, um, and all that. And, you know, everyone thinks that, you know, HGV vloggers have been done to death a little bit recently. Obviously, you've got, like, you know, Scott Andrews, Luke C. And Luke C, to be fair, has already done some stuff to this um, end. But... I feel like he maybe left some bits out or, you know, it might be a bit out of date because it was a few years ago that he did this. So, what am I doing now? I currently work in IT. IT truck driver. Work that one out. Um, and, yeah, just, I decided to make a transition. Um, being a lorry driver was actually what I wanted to do when I was a kid. I'm 26 now. And I never thought I'd pass medical, because if you can't tell, I've got a lazy eye. Mm. And, um, yeah, so I never thought I'd pass medical, and I thought I'd give it a crack. So, in December of 2018, I tried out for a medical. Um, they don't tell you in the medical whether you've passed it or not. All they do is just write down the information on the form that you send to the DBLA to apply for your CAT-C provisional. And then the DVLA decide if you're fit to drive or not. And the DVLA decided I was fit to drive. Hey, hey. So what do you do next? You know, you've done your medical. Um, I will put a link in the description to a company called Doctors on Wheels. I believe it was around 50 pounds. They came to Banbury where I live and they did it in a van. Literally in the back of a Mercedes Sprinter, I got a medical done. Um, all my friends thought I was absolutely that shit crazy to do that. Oh, sorry, shouldn't swear. Um, and yeah, so what what do you do after the medical? So um, before you can even book a practical test, you've got to pass your LGV theory. Now there are tons and tons and tons of different ways of um, studying for your LGV theory, and you need to study need to um, and the way I did that I used um, a DBSA approved um, computer program um, that I will also link in the description I think it was around 20 25 quid um, and I literally just went through all the study material all the um, details that they need to put in there and then I just did mock after mock after mock after mock until I was passing every time. And that was about two weeks worth of um, what you could call revision, I guess. And it just did that again and again and again. So I've done that. Passed that first time. Yes. The hazard perception, unlike your car test, is actually a different exam. Um, so it, for those of you with a car licence, you obviously did your theory and your hazard perception as part of one test. The LGV one is two separate tests, okay? And that counts to module one of your CPC, okay? Um, and then you can go ahead and do your LGV practical training. God, that guy is going absolutely everywhere. I do apologise. Um, and then you find yourself a suitable um, LGV training company that have a suitable vehicle. Um, you have to do your CAT-C before you can do your CAT-C plus E, which is your tractor trailer. And yeah, so I booked one um, local to me in Banbury, a um, company called JLD Training. Absolutely brilliant. Cannot recommend them enough. Cannot recommend them enough. Um, very friendly people, uh, passed first time with only one minor, um, and I thought I was going to fail. Um, and yeah, they are perfect. I recommend them enough. Again, I'll link in the description if you're in the Oxfordshire area, go with them. Um, and this ain't sponsored. If they want to sponsor me, 
Ian, hit me up. Um, and then, yeah, so then you pass that. Awesome. That counts to module three of your CPC, okay? So you've got two other modules to do now. You've got to do your module two, which is a theory test. And then you've got to do your module four. Now I've done module two. Again, it was a case of finding an application online. Again, I'll link the one that I used down in the description. And again, just study, study, study. Now I found the mocks to be a lot harder and a lot more taxing on my brain than the actual test itself. I went into the test, um, the test absolutely crapping myself. And then I did it. I started going through the questions. I was like, this is easy. Now, whether or not the information you just sunk in or the test is easier, I don't know. But I've, it's the only test that I've got 99%, which is mental. I've got a question wrong on um, widths, width restrictions, um, and which is absolutely awesome. So done that, now I can go for my module four, which is the practical test. The module four involves showing them, you know, walk around checks and stuff like that. Now I haven't actually done that yet, and I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to get in contact with JLD Training and see if they'll let me record uh, the training process. Obviously, um, I can't record the test because that's against the law. Um, let's be fair, what I'm doing now is breaking the law, but there we go. Um, and, oh, oh, technical difficulties, beep. Um, and, yeah, and then what What we'll be going through after that is um, going through, going, getting a job, the, um, maybe going to agency or going um, full on permanent PAYE. Um, you know, so we'll do a bit, another video on the pros and cons of that. Um, sat navs, um, what I want to do actually is try and um, do sat navs with different price brackets. Obviously, you've got like the big ones, the Tom Tom 6200, so you know, cost around 350 quid, an amazing bits of kit. You've got the cheapo ones on Amazon, which you know, cost around 60 to 100 pounds. And then you've got the iPhone apps, which to be fair, I actually use one today called Sysology. Um, and I basically told them that my Ford Fiesta was six meters tall and it went absolutely batty as soon as I went towards a low bridge on my way to Swindon this morning. Absolutely mental. Um, that I, I knew the low bridge was there, so I was basically trying it out and it, it kept trying to reroute me, reroute me, and in the end it just went. Well, I, mean, I can't remember exactly what it said, but basically it turned around and went, You fucked up, go sit in the corner, you shouldn't be trying. I'm just pulling, why don't you? Um, you shouldn't be trying. Oh, kill the traffic. Anybody getting local spots with you knows what the A34 is like on a Friday. Please just cry with me. But anyway, let's go on this journey together of being HGV positive. Um, I will be as truthful as I can to what I know and what I can give you. And um, I'm not a road legend. Um, although their videos are awesome. Um, and yeah, um, come with me on this journey to be HGV positive. Not HIV positive, um, I've been tested and I have a girlfriend, so you know, stay away. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, uh, I shall um, be posting more videos in due course and definitely um, I'll be blogging once I do have a job. So yes, I shall um, see you later in arms. Bye!